Spirits are high in the bourbon industry. Rick houses across the Commonwealth are filled to the brim. As Georgia MacArthur reports, the state has reached a record number of bourbon barrels in storage, Georgia. Yes, the mighty and Marvin, four point. Oh, excuse me, 11.4 million barrels of bourbon, or 12 million when you include the other aging spirits. The Kentucky Bourbon Association says it is a call for celebration. However, industry leaders say the taxes set for bur bourbon are ruining the party. The state's signature industry has marked its fourth year in a row of filling more than 2 million bourbon barrels. The story of bourbon started 200 years ago, and the staple here in Kentucky is still making headlines. We've proven that Kentucky bourbon is a really good investment. Uh, just over the last 10 years, we've you know, doubled our employees. While barrel records are typically a cause for uncorking a bottle and celebrating, the impact of aging barrel taxes is more a cause of concern. Um, we are the birthplace of bourbon. It's our one true authentic American spirit, um, but it does come with some mixed feelings and the fact that uh, we've still got a big, uh, big tax bill uh, to pay mm -hmm. at distillers. Kentucky remains the only place in the world that taxes the aging barrels of spirits. Eric Gregory, president of the Kentucky Distiller, says it is a discriminatory tax on bourbon because it takes so long to age. I mean, that's the blessing and the curse of Kentucky bourbon. You can't just age it overnight like you can vodka, gin, or rum, or some of the other neutral spirits. So there are 2,300 distilleries now all across America, and less than 100 of those are here in Kentucky. This begs the question from the association as to why distillers are not located in Kentucky. Gregory says feedback from distiller says it's because of the sales tax. We used to have uh, almost 50 percent of all the distilling jobs in the country. We're now about 30 percent. And we've got distilleries in 40 counties, which is an all-time high. But that means there's 80 counties in Kentucky that could be taking part in the bourbon boom. And Eric says the Kentucky Distillers also pays more than $1.8 billion in federal alcohol taxes, which he says is by far the most among any state. Kentucky ranked 29th in the country in the rate of adding new distilleries.